So you're doing yeah. stand up. Yeah. Where are you doing stand up? Comedy cellar. Oh. And then in LA, I do the uh, comedy uh, store. You ever do like cruise ships and shit? I did one cruise ship and I'll never do it again. A friend said, don't do it. You'll hate it. And I got there. I was like, this is going to be great. A paid vacation. And then I was bombing <laughs> every, every show. There's three why, shows. Why do you think you were bombing? Because the people on the cruise it was ship just, don't get you? Was mostly wheelchairs. And I'm doing this like younger <laughs> material. So I became famous for being bad. Everyone and, was like, hey, let's go see this guy. He's horrible. Yes. <laughs> but it's free. So everyone goes to the show. Right. And then I went to the pool one day and I put on dis a disguise because I was so humiliated. Like I'm OJ. Yeah. And this one lady came to a show. What kind of disguise do you put on? It was on? just like hat, glasses. And no one's recognizing you? I, I was just not looking at anyone because I just wanted to go to the pool because I was stuck in my room. Because you were the bad comic on the cruise ship. I was ship. the terrible, oh. awful guy. When but you say bomb, like no one laughed? There was probably a couple, but it's like 45 minutes of mm. uh, too much silence. <laughs> this After one show, this lady came up to me. She was kind of standing around because also I had to uh, say goodbye to people. After you bomb, you got to be like, thank you for coming. Oh. oh. And this one lady's hanging around. And I was like, oh, maybe this is like a fan or something. And uh, she goes, I just have to tell you, you look exactly like my dead son. <gasps> he really? died a month ago and they didn't, they couldn't get refund on the tickets. And then I was like, I'm so sorry. And then I kept running into her because we're on a boat. Because you can't even escape the people on the boat or the people yeah. you're bombing in front of. Yes. And then she, I go into this bar and she's there and she's like, come over. And her whole family's like, oh my God. And he sounds like him. And then she wanted to go um, rock climbing with me. And I can't say no. So now I'm doing activities. You can't say woman. no because you feel like, hey, I look like her dead son. And she's getting to relive those moments. Yeah. And, and she, you felt bad for her. Yeah. And you're a good guy. And so you did all these activities yes. with her? Yes. And then I could tell, like, I wasn't acting like her son. It was kind of pissing her off. Like, I was scared to rock climb more than, like, seven feet up. And she's like, just go. I could feel I wasn't. Dude, what a great movie that would be. Mm -hmm. you, you, you're a young comic, you're bombing on a cruise ship, you yes. meet a woman who thinks she's like your son, and then she starts taking you to activities. Before you know it, you're living with her. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? With maids. Because I'm sure she'd take you in. Yeah. And then something happens. I yeah. haven't figured that part out. We'll write it later. Yeah.